Russian new Banzai tactics in Robertine village of Zaporizhia Oblast. Co-founder and analyst of deep state platform Roman Pohorilyi spoke in an interview with Radio NV about the Banzai attacks of the Russian occupiers in Robertine, Zaporizhia Oblast. Enemy continues to pressure our positions in Robertine, also uses Banzai attacks. Pohorili said, The tactics have been used many times before when they drive on infantry fighting vehicles with infantry in a certain area directly, even under risk. Now they are driving right into the center of the village. Our military meet them with fire, including drones, and drops from them and destroys them. At the same time, analysts noted that Robotine cannot be considered a grey zone because Ukrainian military is holding the line and the occupiers cannot gain a foothold. Now they are trying from Novoprokopivka, from southern and southwestern outskirts, somehow trying to advance. Pohorili also said, They are very focused on shelling, but there is nothing left to shell. Today, a video was released by the 65th Brigade showing that Robotine no longer exists physically. It's just a complete ruin, a flat, leveled ground. There is no longer even the kind of destruction where there are just pieces of buildings left. It's just all turned to ash. And yet, despite this, the enemy is trying to advance. He said that it is very difficult for Ukrainian military to hold on in this area and the situation is getting worse every day. The village of Robotine was occupied by Russians in March 2022. In August 2023, Ukrainian armed forces liberated the village. Since then, occupiers have not stopped trying to regain their lost ground. The Institute for the Study of War said that Russian troops advanced to western outskirts of Robotine and continued intensified offensives in Zaporizhia Oblast on February the 20th. In March, National Guard spokesman Ruslan Muzichuk said that active fighting was taking place near the village of Robotine in Zaporizhia Oblast. Russians are trying to conduct assault operations from south and east in the direction of Ukrainian settlements. Zaporizhia Regional Council member Serhii Lyshenko said on Espresso TV channel that firefighters are in Robotine already on April the 9th. Armed forces denied that report and said that Robotine remained under control of Ukrainian armed forces. At the same time, in the area of responsibility of the 65th Separate Mechanized Brigade defending the village, there are regular clashes with subversive groups that enter the village and try to gain a foothold there. Biden will not touch Iranian oil after strike on Israel, the US considers China's request. Iran's unprecedented strike on Israel is unlikely to prompt sharp sanctions on Iranian oil exports from the Biden administration due to concerns about rising oil prices and discontent among its largest buyer, China, Reuters said, citing analysts. Shortly after Tehran launched an attack on Israel in retaliation for an Israeli strike on the Iranian consulate in Damascus, House Republican leaders accused President Joe Biden of weakness and said they would consider a series of bills this week to tighten sanctions on Iran. Appearing on Fox News, House Republican Whip Steve Scalise said the Biden administration had made it easier for Iran to sell its oil, which it uses for military purposes. According to Reuters, political pressure to punish Iran poses a difficult challenge for the US presidential administration. How to deter similar attacks in the future without escalating regional tensions, raising oil prices, or confronting China, the largest buyer of Iranian oil? According to former CIA official Scott Modell, even if Congress passes bills against Iran, it is difficult to imagine the Biden administration moving forward with new sanctions, for example, to try to reduce or limit Iranian oil exports in any meaningful way. It is obvious that in the current geopolitical conditions and against the background of internal problems in the United States, the White House does not want to seriously expose itself to satisfy the whims of Tel Aviv. According to ABC News, the US will not help Israel retaliate by launching offensive military operations in the wake of Iran's missile and drone attack, Biden administration officials have privately warned. Israel has promised a response 
following the massive Iranian attack on the country. According to a US official cited by ABC, this message was also delivered directly to Israel's top brass in a private phone call on Sunday between Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant.